Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, you caught me in a very incriminating situation. What, him? Oh, don't worry. He was dead when I found him. <laughs> you should have seen the position he was in. It was a very... Never mind. What was I going to do with him? Well, if you must know, I was just on my way to garden. I'm planting. Huh? Never mind. Well, now that you're intrigued, let's just get on to the video. We got a doozy for you today. <sighs> Great. Greetings everybody, my name is Mr. Black Bear, and today I'm going to be making a pumpkin for a pumpkin patch. But that's not any pumpkin, oh no, a pumpkin girl. I'm going to be making a doll, a kind of experimental doll, more of an innovative doll. I'm going to be using different methods on uh, making it, so bear with me, there will be mistakes. Uh, but no pumpkin patch is complete without pumpkin, so... There we go. Pumpkins. Anyway, what do I mean about innovative or different methods? Well, I'll show you. Have a look, see for yourself. Uh, before we start, this is Lady Teddy Bear. She... I usually call her Lady, just for short. But, uh, yeah. You may know her as just that strange half-cat, half-bear in the backs of my photos or on my bed in videos. She's a very sarcastic one, this one. Anyway, the reason why I'm showing you this is because she is the prototypes of the prototype. She has been my first doll I've ever made of the of bigger scale. I have made dolls in the past, which usually is why she, she may look rough around the edges, but she's actually pretty good. I don't know, I, I, I'd say I did a good job, but I'm only telling you this is because we all come from humble beginnings and we need innovation from those humble beginnings. And this was one of my, my attempts. Well, it succeeded the second time. Ugh. So that's just something I want to share with you. Now, let's move on. So basically the way I uh, improved the leg structure was that I stuffed it just a little bit and then sewed it directly onto the foot. That way, it makes it very easy to stuff it later on. And, uh, yeah, this is just pretty much me just explaining exactly what I was going to explain, which makes this whole, this whole explaining thing here doing it absolutely pointless. And experimenting so please is key. Continue me. I don't want to call every single one of them failures because I didn't do it, but doing this new method going forward will really help me out. Let's continue. And here comes failure number one. I accidentally sewed the feet the exact same way, facing the exact same direction. So now this girl has two left feet. Well, two right feet if, if we're being correct about it, but you know. So I gotta go fix that. And fix it, I did. So, <laughs> moving on. And there you have it. Now I have two legs. Well, I mean, I've always had two legs, but I, I have two legs now. Well, now this 
is the body. Kind of looks like a, your standard mannequin, but with a little bit more holes. And these holes will be filled by, you know, these parts. The way I usually attach them is honestly, I gotta find which part looks more like the front and then attach it right there. And soon enough, I'll have a body with limbs. I mean, I already have a body with limbs, but you get the point. So here are a few fabulous photos to show you the completed body, mainly because it would have been a complete hassle to get, you know, it on film. And now we're off to the chest part. All right, now that we're done with the body and all that, uh, time to move on to the next part. Uh, this is the chest part of the doll. And this is actually new territory for you guys, only because I haven't actually showed any progress photos of gas. So, you know, I guess I'll show you how I do it. So obviously I got to finish one, uh, the other one. Uh, this is one completed one. This is three parts. This is the side of it. I had made it flat just by kind of mushing it inward. And this is the front, this is the side. These are three parts, one, two, and three. This is the top, this is the bottom. And uh, the way I do this is that once I have two of them, by finishing this one, I take it and sew it along this edge, both of them, together. That way, you know, they're together. And then I sew directly in the middle of the two onto the actual doll part. And then I sew on the sides, but I leave this part open only because it's a little unreachable and it will look a little unnatural if I do. So I'm just going to finish this and I'll show you when it's done. So here are some photos of what it should look like when it's sewn on. Not that I think anyone would be following along, though if you are, I won't judge. And it's going to be voice over me for a little while. Here I'm just explaining that just make sure your fabric is facing the right way, as you can see. It's not the exact same color on both sides. Not even for the green. And here are a few progress photos of me making the pumpkin head. Um, so I went with a traditional looking face, but you don't have to. And I even used a bit of yarn so that it can, you know, have a little bit more flair. Kind of like it's hair of a sort. And I even tied a little bit of yarn around the body because that is kind of what you had going on in her original drawing that I made of her. And this is what she looks like with her head on. And Lady approves. But every good story comes to a close. I really do hope you enjoyed the creation of our pumpkin girl. So, sweet dreams, bye-bye, and good night.